How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Roman Grimmsnarl from the Discord server in the underused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Roman. So they're going to lead off with Excadrill as we lead off with our Ninetales. So it's not a bad lead. They could be Scarf Excadrill if they're going to lead off with it like that. You never know. Scarf Excadrill is uh, used to be a thing, but they are actually air balloons. So I'm actually pretty happy going for a Fire Blast here. I know I might miss and all that stuff, but I have confidence that my Ninetales has its spectacles on. It doesn't have choice specs. But I have confident Ninetales can outspeed and KO this Excadrill with a Fire Blast. If we miss... Then it's going to be really bad for us because we'll lose nine tails to an earthquake. But I feel like they just go straight into Keldeo or Latios here. So we go for a Fire Blast. They stay in. And they lose their Excadrill on the first turn. That is an unfortunate turn of events for them. Because we could have very well missed that Fire Blast. But why didn't they switch out into the Latios or the Keldeo? Keldeo, I can understand more. We might predict that and go for a Solar Beam. They, I feel like they may have overfought that first turn a little bit. But... I do that all the time, so I cannot talk. <laughs> in comes the Decidueye of all things. So Decidueye is an interesting choice here. It's nice and shiny. Gotta love it. So Fire Blast won't KO this thing. We could Will-O-Wisp it, but I don't want to get hit in the face with a triple arrows and have my defense lowered or a crit or anything like that. Especially when we have a perfectly good switch in, which we don't. I guess we have Venusaur. Venusaur can switch in pretty well here. So I think I will go Venusaur here. I think Venusaur switches in pretty well against the Decidueye. So let's see how this turns out. Hisui and Decidueye is very pretty cool design. I really, I, I prefer Hisui into the regular Decidueye. So they are going to Terra. So that's why they brought it in. Fair enough. What type are they going to Terra into? Hopefully not a Terra Fire. And hopefully with their Terra Ground. Is that Rock or Ground? I think that's Rock, right? Yeah, because Ground is the Globe. And Rock is the like Temple looking thing. So they go for a Rock Tomb. Booster by Terra Rock, which is going to lower our speed. Does a nice bit of chip damage as well. Um, but then being a Rock type, puts them at a bit of a disadvantage against Venusaur over here. So I am going to go for a Solar Beam right now. We should still out. So they do withdraw the Decidueye, which is fair enough. Let's see what they're going to. Latios, I would guess. Stantler. Sapsipper? Could it, it is Sapsipper, isn't it? We absorb some light. It should just go ahead. Yep, Sapsipper. So they got a Sapsipper Stantler. That's awesome. I know, you love to see it. You love to see it. So, um, obvious switch here would be the Registeel. So, I'm going to go for the Registeel switch. I don't think they really get much. I don't know what Stantler does. It's one of them obscure Pokemon where it's like, I really don't know what it does. Um, they're obviously using it because they Violite and stuff like that is a thing. They go for the agility. So, they are plus two speed, plus one attack right now, thanks to Sab Sipper. That is a threatening Reindeer right there. So, I'm going to Iron Defense in its face because I see no reason not to. So they withdraw Stantler because they realize Registeel cannot be touched by that thing. And they're going to go into the Honchcrow of all things. So Honchcrow is an interesting Pokemon. It does get fight. I'm sure it gets close combat now because it used to get superpower. I'm sure it gets close combat. But they probably realized by now that this isn't the Pokemon to go into because we're just going to go for a body press now as they go. Oh, they're special with Heat Wave in the sun. But we are specially defensive, so we can take that like a champ and nearly body this thing with a body press. Which is fantastic for us. Absolutely fantastic for us. So, um, let's just go for another body press. I don't see any reason not to. They probably have to switch out here. But they go for another heat wave and they do unfortunately miss. That could be clutch because they could have got the burn with a heat wave and it's extra damage on my now basically impossible to beat Registeel. In comes the Keldeo. So Keldeo is a good one. It can go for that Secret Sword. It's not the Resolute form, which means it's not Secret Sword, which is interesting. So what are they going to go for? I think I'll go for a safe Thunder Wave. They go for a, they go for a substitute as I set up a Thunder Wave. The one time I decide, you know what, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go for the, the Thunder Wave, get, the, you know, get that thing paralyzed. And they're a substitute Keldeo. Of course they are. So let's see what we can do here. If I'm right in thinking what I'm thinking, this thing is going to be a physical Keldeo, right? So I'm going to go for that body press. If they're physical with Sacred Sword or a Sphere. Oh, so they're actually hit on the special side, which is good. 
does a lot of damage, but Reggie Steel is way too bulky. But they do have that sub up, so they're not going to take any damage from the body press, which means they should be able to KO us the next turn of an Aurosphere. But um, I'm, I don't think it will KO. I don't think it will. I think this Reggie Steel is going to put in a lot of work here. It's, it's funny in the light. In the light, you can't actually tell the Reggie Steel shining, which is weird. Um, you probably can with my color correction settings, actually. Never mind. Uh, but I can't. I'm on I'm, I'm raw recording. I can't. I can't tell. So let's go for a body press real quick and see how much damage it does to the Keldeo. I don't think it'll KO. They go for another substitute though on the off chance that we went for another body uh, thunder wave maybe. Um, but no, we went for a body press. We're trying to just damage this Keldeo at this point. Um, we're getting more leftovers recovery as they sub up, so they're gonna have to attack. I'm guessing they're calm mind. If I had to guess, I'm guessing they're calm mind. They're probably trying to get some health back as well. Then again, going for a substitute doesn't get your health back, so I don't know what they're doing really. Uh, let's just find out. So they go for another Aura Sphere, which is going to do a lot of damage. But unfortunately, after two leftovers recoveries, we're able to take it like a champ. And we don't quite get the KO on the Keldeo, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate, because it means poor old Registeel over here is going to have a bad time of it, um, unfortunately. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go for another Body Press. Just on the off chance we live the Aura Sphere, which we are not. Obviously, we're not living the Aura Sphere. That's not in my head at all. They go for the Aura Sphere, and that's going to take out Registeel. So Registeel did a good job, though. It, you know, it, it, it took out... What did it take out? The Honch Crow? And that's about it. But it did a lot of damage to the Keldeo, which is important. Which is always important. Um, so let's see what we can do. I'm leaning towards getting the sun back up. So I think I will go into Ninetales. Ninetales and then Solar Beam. Yeah, I think Ninetales and Solar Beam is going to be fine. Because we can live a Hydro Pump in the sun. No problem. So let's go for the sun. Get the sun up real quick. There we go. And then we'll go for a Solar Beam. There's no real reason not to. So they go for an Air Slash. They didn't want to go for the water move because of the weakened power in the sun. Fair enough. We go for a Solar Beam. That's definitely going to take out poor old Keldeo over there. As the Fox claims the Pony's soul. Which is really unfortunate for them. But Keldeo does go down. Which is great for us. They now have a free switch into the Latios. I guess they could have also gone Stantler there if they really wanted to for that Sap Sipper, but they probably didn't realize we were going to go for Solar Beam. In comes the Latios. So Latios is a good switch. Definitely going to be able to take out my Ninetales in one hit if we aren't careful. And I don't really have a switch in. Now, I'm looking at their team and thinking Hazards aren't really a thing on their team. I don't have to worry about Hazards. So let's go in Cyclozar. Cyclozar can definitely just, like, die here. If they go for a Luster Purge, there's a good chance we live. And then we outspeed and go for a Draco. Um, but they do go for a Draco Meteor of their own. They are going to miss, which is really unfortunate for my opponent. So let's go for a Draco Meteor of our own. Since we got the miss, which is great, by the way. Like, absolutely great. So we go for the Draco. He's not going to KO the Latios. Never mind, it does. It straight up KOs the Latios. I wasn't expecting that. Cyclers are OP. Cyclers are OP. So Cyclers are takes out the Latios, which is fantastic. Let's see how this plays out for the rest of the game, though. In comes Decidueye, which is a fair one. And Triple Arrows is definitely going to hurt. And it's flying as well. I love it when it does that. I love it when the game does that. So, um, I guess we just drop a Draco. I don't see any reason not to. So, we drop a Draco real quick. Get some chip damage off on this Decidueye. Why not? They go for a Triple Arrows, I'm guessing. Um, trail. Ooh. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I made a mistake by going for that. Let's go for a U-turn now since we're going to be uh, out of speed. We're out of speed still. We get a U-turn off. That's unfortunate for us because that means whatever I bring in now has to take some damage. And they could be going for a Rock Tomb. They could be going for all sorts. Let's go into the Venusaur. Venusaur we know can take a Rock Tomb. And also, they go for a Bull Cup. So that's, that is terrifying right there. So after a Bull Cup and a Trailblaze, this thing's looking like a threat. But... We can just Solar Beam it in the face. If they switch into the uh, Stanla, that's great. They lose their boosts. If they don't, then we KO them with Solar Beam. It's like win-win. So they withdraw the Decidueye. They're going to opt to go for the Sap Sipper, which is fair enough. I had to go for Solar Beam there because I didn't want to play around with no threats in Decidueye. Um, they, we go for a Solar Beam. Obviously, it's not going to work on those Stanlers. It's not going to work on those Stanlers. That's, that's, that's fair enough. They get the Sap Sipper boost. Absolutely fine by me. I'm going to go for that Sludge Bomb real quick. Or maybe Weather Ball was better there. I don't know, to be honest with you. I think Sludge Bomb was better. I think Terra Fire Weather Ball would have been better. But, you know, we go for a Sludge Bomb. Clean 50% to the Stantler, which is great. They go for an Agility. And the Sun wears off this turn, I believe. No, it doesn't. We've still got Sun. 
Does the Stanlin actually outspeed Venusaur? I guess we'll find out. They do outspeed us. They go for that side shield bash. Stantler gets a defense boost. This Stantler just took a 180 and is now a threat. A big threat. The harsh sunlight fades. So what do we do here? Do we go Hydreigon? I guess we have got options to be fair. So it's not that. We've got the Focus Sash on the uh, Sandy Shock. So it's not that big of a threat. So let's go Sandy Shocks real quick. Magneto. Like so. There we go. Nice and shiny. And then we'll go straight for a Thunderbolt. There's no real reason not to go for a Thunderbolt here. Psy Shield Bash comes through. That's going to do a minimal amount of damage. Even with plus one, the Sandy Shocks just takes it like a champ. We go for a T-Bolt and Stantler goes down. So Sandy Shocks taking out the Stantler. That was a really cool Stantler set though. That caught me off guard a little bit that did. So I don't know whether Stantler deserves a spot on the thumbnail. But, you know, it's definitely something. So Decidueye comes through. Let's see what this Decidueye is going to do. So we go for an Earth Power. I don't think they can take it, but they might. We don't. Decidueye goes down. And that's going to be the game. So GG Roman, that was a pretty fun one. I did enjoy that one. Uh, it was a cool scene, Stantler. There's a bit of hacks and some questionable plays, but that is Pokemon for you. That is Pokemon for you. So GG Roman. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.